Look into the eyes of Peyton. On your fucking wall! Hey guys, before we get into the Tanet, the new Christopher Nolan trailer reaction review, we wanted to show you guys something. This company, Goody, sent us a projector screen. This is my wall in my house, in my home, where my children play with their toys. Power, movement, speed, connectivity. Everything in a box? No. Now, today, find out what power is in the 21st century with this projector. Hey guys, have you ever thought about how cool it would be to watch or play a video game on your fucking wall? Check it out, guys. It's a fucking projector. It's a basketball goal from Fisher. Oh, wait. No. That comes with what it. What I meant to say was, now, we just, we literally got this out of the box and set it up. You don't do it like this, obviously, <laughs> with the setup we have here. But in about, I don't know what, Jake, like five minutes, we set this up, we grabbed the Xbox, we plugged it into the back of this goodie projector. Now, it's right supposed here. to be able to work with your phone as well. It's full on 1080p HDMI. It's got two connections for HDMI, and it's also a 300. It can go up to 300, like, is it, like, is it inches or some shit? I don't know. I don't like math and numbers, but it can go really fucking wide if you need it to go wide for all that goodness said. that you need to. Uh, if you're gonna look at a big porn site, you gotta have Pornhub, you gotta get wide. Whatever you're gonna do, but if you're also gonna play your video game, and now imagine this, your wife, girlfriend walks in, and you're yelling at your wall, and she's like, you, you always yell at your wall, but this time you have a reason to do it, because you're, now you're playing a fucking video. Like Madden NFL 20 is on his fucking wall. Here, hold this, point at the screen. Point at the screen! Now, if you buy an HDMI adapter, you can plug Look. your phone to it and you can play We Watch the Movie videos on it. Or, if you're just using this... Why would you put that shitty We Watch the Movie thing on there anyway? Because you can, Jay. It'll turn the walls green. You can try some Blair Witch. Look oh, at that. turn it away! Have some scary time! It is actually, dude, it actually looks really fucking cool though. Like, and then you've got this. You've got a witch uh, incantation happening on a loading screen on your wall. You can take this. You can focus it easily with this right here. You can press play, move all that stuff around however you want to. You can hang this in your ceiling in your basement, have friends over, and have a full theater movie experience! But also, on top of that, if you look at how... It's not that big either. It's actually pretty small compared... I mean, I've seen some projectors that take up... They look like a goddamn Manhattan project with how big they are. This one's actually cool. Look, we'll give you a little angle on the back here. Oh, it goes around there. <laughs> I feel like a lot of PD. Uh, you get around here. See? So this is what you got here. Here's your connections. 5V out, that means five volts. Thank you. But also maybe you drink a Jolt Cola. The best part about this whole thing is that we have 20% off on Amazon if you guys wanna check out the Goody, the Goody uh, 1080 projector for yourself. We have a 20% off link in our link box down below. Hey, guess what, we're, getting, we're getting sued by EA. But now you've got, who's this motherfucker? I've never used a projector in my life. I've never, I mean, the, the old, we were actually talking about like in a school, we had these old ass projectors, like it looked like a magnifying glass and had the see-through bullshit and you fell asleep because you were watching some documentary on 1812 war, but gross. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Big buddy. I'm, I'm tilting it like this guys. It's like a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are sensitive to this. Yeah, that looks good as hell, man. And again, I mean, we, we, we just try to put a little uh, thing to put the thing on there, but... Dude, it's actually really fucking badass. Like, and, and the airflow is really... They said that something about the, the, the flow of the air, the fans are really well done. But there we go, guys. Yeah. It is a quite a sexual beast of manly proportions. I'm liking... I'm digging the hell out of it right now. Now, find your friends. Find... Now, and you can have Patrick Mahomes' phone number. Have that. Have the future. Shit. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And Christopher Nolan's new trailers just come out for Tanet. Okay. Uh, Tap acting, Tanet acting. Is that uh, how you say it? Tanet? I, I don't know. Tanet? I don't know. It's a mysterious fuckaroo. It's about a, uh, a goddamn tin. 
called Tanay. You might be wondering what's going on with our background. We just filmed our very first video ever for our brand new channel, Revenge of the Action Movie. Uh, no content on it yet. At the very, very latest, the first video, Bloodsport, a deep, deep look at Bloodsport, is going to be the first video we do. At the very latest, it's going to be New Year's Day, but the link's down below. Please go subscribe to that channel. Let's fill it up as much as possible so that you guys all get the notification for that video when it comes out. Sucking, fucking, and touching. Some Dark Knight shit. We all believe we've run into the burning building. But until we feel that heat, we can never know. You do. You chose to die instead of giving up. You got them Taco calls. Bell shits. That test you passed? Not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife. Oh, okay. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. Nuclear Holocaust? No. Something worse. All I have for you is a word. Tell it. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Start looking at the world in a new way. And try to understand it. Feel it. Feel it, feel it. You know, what happened here? Hasn't happened yet. Is this 24 with Kiefer Sutherland? <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I don't know what the fuck you just said, kid. But I like it. But I feel you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was something. It just felt like somebody. It, like it felt like a culmination of when you lie on your resume to get a job and you have no idea what you're doing, but you need a job, so you lied about it, and then they're expecting you to be able to perform, and you're like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude, Robert Pattinson, the new Batman, ironically, in the guy who directed the old Batman trailer. Oh, Twilight thing. Michael Caine's also in this motherfucker. Kenneth Branagh's in this trailer. Good as fuck. John David Washington. It looks I good. have no idea what the fuck it's about. That's what I'm saying. It looks like it looks really good, but it, like. I mean, it, I, I don't know. Like Christopher Nolan could make painting a wall seem inspirational or like, uh, like really intense. I don't. I, I don't. I don't even know what is this a. Is it like a spy movie? Like is this like uh, some some of all fears kind of shit with uh, Ben Affleck? What is know. this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and I like it. I like it. I like going into a trailer and I don't know what the fuck the movie's about. I, I do. Well, I like Ludwig Göransson's music, but. <laughs> But look, you don't get that anymore. You don't get a completely mysterious movie that you know nothing about. It's not tied to another IP or franchise. And if you're Christopher Nolan, you're the guy, one of the few guys, who can put out a movie like that and it can make big bucks at the box office. So it's one of those few things that you can enjoy, be excited to go see, not knowing dick shit about. And I'm excited for it. Well, we hope it's good. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's just There's a lot of question marks on that because it could be great, but it could be just like... Okay. Sure. I think the least interesting thing that Nolan has done in in, in past years' history has been probably Dunkirk, uh, and that you know it was a war movie. It was what it was. It was a good movie, but you can see his technical prowess at work there. Those shots, I, I kept I getting reminded to the Dark Knight with those like ocean shots and yeah. shit. You remember when they were on the boat and they had the prisoners and the other people or whatever? Mm -hmm. But it's got Christopher Nolan written all over it, man. It's exciting. It's got a. It's got I mean, a I'm not I'm, like it looks good, but I'm not as excited as you. I just feel like when I watched it, I was like. Are we studying for this? Like, I, I don't know what this is. I'm kind of excited about this lesson plan, but I'm not sure what's happening yet. Yeah. I need a few more weeks to digest it. Like, I, I need a little bit more information. I think like, there's the hope that you don't know, so when you go, you're going to get blown Yeah, but I mean, away. I need a little bit more. Like, what the fuck is after? Like, is that like a secret organization, Afterlife? Is that like a, like a spy agency? Like, you have to go through, like, a certain way and then die on, like, your civilian life? Or it could be just like a Six Underground thing where they, they fake their death and then they come back as, you know, the men in black. I guess. <laughs> I but, you know, I... 
like again, uh, I like Chris Nolan, so I mean, it's you know he's a great director, so we'll we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But question for you guys: How about how about tentatively? I'm tentatively tentatively teased. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit turned on, but not hard. <laughs> The nip, that side is hard. This one's not so much. <laughs> Comment down below, guys. Question of the day is, not knowing anything about the movie, was that trailer enough for you to go buy your opening day tickets? For me, it was. Well, would you, were you going to go? Opening go? day? Yeah. No. no I, gotta, I, mean, I, I Like I said, I love Ludwig Gordonson, some music, but <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to wait. I mean, I don't know. I, it, it, like, I feel like this kind of movie right here, like, it's not going to It's not gonna be one of those movies that everybody's going to talk about. You know what I mean? It's not going to be one of those movies that, that's going to be on the lips and, and buttholes of everybody on, on the internet, but I feel like if you were like going going to a, a theater and you're like, I don't, I don't know. I, I, you know, if I want to go see goddamn frozen Two, I'll go in this theater and check out Tenet. And then you walk out and be like, I'm surprised. This was actually a really cool movie. It's like, I think that's kind of like what happened with like a movie like warrior. Like a lot of people didn't give that movie like credit at all. Like well, when it came out, like, it was like nobody cared. And it's like, it's a great fucking movie. Well, it's just great word of mouth. I think that though, like at least for like hardcore film fans, just it being Christopher Nolan and mysterious enough. I think those people are already in the boat. And then I think if the movie's great, then word of mouth will carry it bigger. Cause think about it. I mean, nobody knew what the fuck avatar was and that broke all the world. Box well, some boxes, people still think that they might've just got obsessed with the idea with the, the, the 3d thing, even though I still think avatar sucks shit. Fight I, I, Mm, I like I, I just like the I like the I like the bad guy in it a lot. We love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up and you don't forget you're getting some good shit coming up soon if you subscribe to that channel now. Revenge of the action movie in the description box below. Have a great fucking day. How about you come up and uh, go up on our on my tenet? <laughs> Tint. Tint. <laughs> well, I think I look like he's taking a. Uh, he, uh, he, he actually looks like he he's secretly shit and he doesn't want anybody knowing about it.